What is going on guys, it's 42 Sports here, and today I am talking about the 2018 college football season of the Appalachian State Mountaineers uh, preview of the season. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the roster or the depth chart a little bit and who's gone, who's back. And I'm going to talk about the stats as well with the, uh, this year's um, season or schedule as you say. And I know a lot of people messaged me about the previous video that I currently deleted because there were some things that were uh, missed. Uh, placed and players that were back that I thought were so gone and Jalen Moore actually is back returning for his senior season and hopefully back for another uh, thousand yards of rushing he's already uh, surpassed 3,000 rushing yards uh, this year he's a senior um, so let's go ahead and go through the players that are gone and the players that are back with the team so uh, just to clarify all that what happened in the previous video so players that are gone in the QB position as you all know Taylor Lamb is gone uh, from the team he is a senior who graduated and now is a part of the South Carolina Gamecocks uh, assistant like manager I believe that's what it is um, so he he has been a great asset to Appalachia State I think yeah he um, also uh, passed Armani Edwards the most passing touchdowns and passing yards I believe as well uh, from the Mountaineers he's one of the best top five overall uh, Mountaineer quarterbacks of all times and his uh, past three years has won back to back to back bowl games the Camellia Bowl and the Dollar General Bowl as well um, so he is gone which le leaves us with uh, the returning players uh, Zach Thomas who's a uh, redshirt sophomore who could possibly be the starting uh, quarterback for this year Jacob Huseman uh, redshirt sophomore as well and uh, Peyton Derrick as well who's also a redshirt freshman now a sophomore if you like to put it like that and also finally a uh, three-star uh, recruit who signed with Appalachian State uh, Stephon Brown who could possibly be the actual starter for this year's team now the running backs the running backs this year are stacked every position is possibly stacked this year the only possible uh, issues with Appalachian State this year is the quarterback position since Taylor Lamb left. Jalen Moore, who is returning, um, a running back who's a senior this year, uh, surpassed a thousand uh, rushing yards last year. He is back. Uh, Marcus Williams Jr. is back as well. He's also a great running back uh, for Appalachian State. Demarcus Harper uh, is another one. Deatrich Harrington, who came along well at the end of the year and uh, produced some great. Um, uh, gameplay or just a great asset for Appalachian State uh, for a young running back in the depth chart and lastly we have Devontae Smith uh, only a few key guys are actually leaving uh, Appalachian State and that are graduating and the only one that out of this running back core is Terrence Upshaw uh, who's graduating this year for uh, wide receivers this year again the wide receivers are stacked. Uh, they're young and they're experienced and they're just uh, good. Uh, the only one that's left is a great receiver, Ike Lewis, who is gone. And that, the returning players that are I'm probably going to list like the top three returning players uh, Thomas Hennigan, Jalen Virgil, Malik Williams, and Corey Sutton, who is a transfer from K State, which also will be a great uh, asset to the team. Uh, and then Brad Abner. Uh, Darrington Evans and Mock Adams as well. Also, uh, tight end Colin Reed is back with the team. Uh, for defense-wise, this was pretty huge. Uh, huge losses for App State on defense, especially with their defensive coordinator, uh, Nate Woody, who is now the uh, defensive coordinator of Georgia Tech. Uh, Eric Boggs, who is their leader or tackler of this year, had 102 tackles. He is the number one. Uh, he left from graduating. AJ Howard left, 87 tackles. Uh, Rashad Towns, 50 tackles, and Devin Stringer, who is also a great player on defense. So they are going to lose some key players, but they will also have some key players back for this year's team. With Anthony Flory, uh, he had 87 tackles. Um, Tay Hayes, he had 53 tackles. Clifton Duck, who is a great cornerback, he had 50 tackles. Also led uh, cornerbacks in six interceptions this year. Desmond Franklin is also returning with 49 tackles as well, and those are you. Those are your people 
who are coming back and gone uh, from this year. I'm just not listing the whole team because that's just a lot of people. Uh, so, as you all know, let's go through these stats as well. I'm just going through uh, the list. Uh, passing wise, Zach Thomas, who could be the starter for this year, didn't really play much due to the fact that Taylor Lamb was their main starter. Had six uh, uh, completions, 10 attempts with 33 yards, 60.0 completions, 3.3 uh, yards average. And that is all he had in a QBR rating of 87. Jalen Moore, on the other hand, I'm doing the top players uh, for the statistics wise. Um, Jalen Moore had 183 carries with 1,037 uh, rushing yards, 5.7 yards average, and 12 touchdowns, which that is going to be a key component to the Mountaineer squad. Uh, receiving wise, I'll probably go to the top three, maybe just do the first two. Uh, Thomas Hennigan. Had 50 or had 45 receptions, 585 yards, 13.0 yards average, and seven uh, touchdowns. He was the number two a wide receiver, and he was a freshman as well, so he already has experience. Uh, Jalen Virgil, I believe how you pronounce his last name right. Um, he had 20 receptions, 364 reception yards, 18.2 yards average, and three touchdowns, which is also another key. Uh, component to Appalachian State's Mountaineers uh, team. Now, finally, we'll go down. I feel like I'm talking really fast. Um, sorry if I am. So, uh, also, uh, the uh, this year or last year, Appalachian State finished nine and four overall in the season, tied for first in the Sun Belt Conference, seven to one uh, behind Troy. And I think this year that Appalachian State and the Sun Belt Conference is switching to divisional rounds, where it's like East and West. Um, I think that's what they're going to do now, this year. And yeah, that's basically what they're gonna, I think they're going to do. I think they're just going to do this year or 2019 season. So finally, let's go ahead and look at the, the this year's 2018 uh, schedule. And right off the bat, they have a powerhouse team at the Penn State Nittany Lions. And hopefully... This year could be the year that Appalachian State could possibly upset the Nittany Lions. Uh, they lost their best running back, Saquon Barkley. Uh, they have every, mostly everybody back returning-wise. And maybe, possibly, they could upset Penn State like they did Michigan in 2007. Now, they almost beat Wake Forest last year, even though Rubino didn't really do so well in that game. and It, it could have gone either way. Uh, it just stinks that they didn't win, but overall they had a great season that year. Second game, they're playing against Charlotte at Charlotte, so they have two away games to start off the bat. Uh, on September 15th, on a Saturday, they are home against Southern Miss. Hopefully that should be a win. Also, Charlotte should be a win, so maybe they're 2-1 right now. Gardner-Webb definitely should be a win. Uh, that's also home. So it should be 3-1. South Alabama, that's going to be a tough game. It's also at home. Hopefully that will be a win. Might be a loss. It might be 3-2. At Arkansas State, who's another decent team, could be a loss, could be a win. But I'm going to go ahead and go with the win, 4-2. Uh, versus Louisiana at home, they should possibly win this game. So it's going to be 5-2 or 4-3. Georgia Southern at Georgia Southern. This is a big rival game. They should be able to beat George Southern, but who knows? Anything can happen in just over a year. This could be a 6-2, um, a 6-2, and they're both eligible once again. And they beat Coastal Carolina. They uh, may have struggled. They, they struggled last year, but who knows? They can turn around. Uh, so it's 7-2, and they might possibly lose to Texas State. So it's going to be 7-3, and they... Wait a minute. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Was it 7 to 2? Uh, Georgia State could be lost, so it could be, what, 7 to 4? And then they'll finish out the year, uh, possibly, or they could beat Georgia State and it'd be 8 to 3, and then probably possibly lose to Troy, who's also a great football program as well. So they could finish up 8 and 4 uh, again this year. Hopefully they will finish more than 10 games. Uh, winning, but well, who knows? Anything happened uh, this year. Hopefully, Appalachian State will um, 
do well this year. You know, they have an issue with the quarterback position, but every other position, they are experienced, they are well ready, and I think Appalachian State will do well in another successful season. So guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Also, this is the updated rosters. I've tr I double checked just in case to see if I missed uh, place anybody. I know I already did. I already checked. Um, people already messaged me as well. So guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Go Mountaineers. Hopefully, we'll have another great season. And guys, 42 Sports here. Peace.